it changes my thoughts uh, incredibly. So now I have this giant burst of optimism. And uh, um, the question is, is this banging? Uh, we've heard in the past uh, with Air France 447, with Malaysian Air, that there were noises coming from the sea and that must be the plane uh, and it turned out not to be. So I'm hoping they, they have to work quickly to identify where that noise is coming from and then um, investigate uh, what that noise is. So, and right now there's no time to analyze things. They should be moving equipment toward the sound so that if they identify it as man-made or human-made, uh, they've already got equipment on the way to the bottom. And we're really uh, short on time at this point. If it's really ever 30 minutes, I wonder how many uh, incident, how many times that repetition set has happened. I would assume more than twice. Um, yeah, I, I, well, the ocean's full of surprises, so you never know. Uh, but I can't think of anything that would be that every 30 minutes. And I do know that PH Narzalek uh, would do something like that um, to keep, uh, the, to let people know where that they're there. We've worked on Air France, we've worked on Malaysian Air, we've worked on a couple of other things as well. And he would be, we'd be side by side. Uh, and it's tough because this time he's not only here, but he's there. And so I'm trying to grapple with that. Uh, yeah, he's a charming man. You know, he's, uh, I would say my closest colleague, my best friend, certainly one of my best friends. Um, and uh, it'll be a shame if we lose him. Uh, if is it, uh, you know, I don't like to say it. Many have said it that it, this is the way PH would have wanted it if it was going to happen. Um, I hate stuff like that, you know. We've always expected it, but we were always uh, at the same time we were shocked when it actually did happen. Which uh, you know, it's classic that uh, we know we've been very lucky up to this point. The entire community of um, deep sea explorers, uh, we've been lucky up to this point, and uh, I, I do find it ironic that now we can't believe it happened. Were well, we ready for it? No, you know, there's no protocols or uh, anything like that. Everyone that's been to the sea, to the bottom of the sea in a submarine, uh, has feared this and wondered what would happen if this happened. Um, in one case, it, it would be a quick uh, ending if the sub imploded. In another case, if you were trapped, it would be a slower ending. But in either case, uh, I guess if you were trapped there and the air slowly running out, it would be just horrible. I don't like to think about it, but it would not be pleasant at all.